a story so many of you have been following. A local woman's pet, suspected of being a wolf hybrid, will not be returned to his owners until DNA tests prove he is not a wolf. That decision just made today during a hearing. Denver 7's Sally Mamdu is in the studio with that tonight. Sally? And Shannon, the hearing was postponed because Tracy Zabato's lawyer wanted to look at all of the evidence before proceeding with the case, a case that now has dog lovers from all over speaking out in support of Tracy. Wolf or dog? A looming question surrounding the identity of Tracy Abato's 10-year-old dog, Capone. Heartbroken because my dog's still not coming home with us. Tracy's disappointed after the hearing to decide if Capone can go home till wolf hybrid testing is in was postponed today. It doesn't seem like there's any rhyme or reason to how they're enforcing the statute. Aaron Ecker is representing Tracy. He says the city's ordinance that prohibits anyone from owning exotic animals is vague. The statute doesn't necessarily set forth what constitutes a hybrid animal in any specificities. A definition he's likely to challenge as well as the claim Capone is aggressive stemming from an incident four years ago. There was an instance where he had bit somebody who had intruded into the yard and that's the only instance and it's something that they're throwing in our face right now and saying that he has a history when indeed I mean this was an instance of him protecting his home. Diana Montoya is Tracy's neighbor who reported Capone when she found him in her yard. She says he was aggressive. When we tried like opening our door he would run to us and then he would like growl and you know try to like attacking us. Baby. But dog expert Gail O'Neill who owns a Belgian sheep. Is four months old. Says Capone is likely a German shepherd mixed with a Belgian sheep. Dogs that at times could seem to be aggressive because of their protective nature. Saber sit. Any guard dog breed like this. If they get scared, they're going to bark or do a fear, a fear bark. He would do that if he got, if he got frightened or somebody cornered him that he didn't know. Now, Gail also says Aurora's assumption Capone is a wolf hybrid is scaring off a friend of hers who has a dog that looks similar to Capone from a, attending an upcoming dog event in Aurora. The hearing has been set for next Wednesday, and to help pay for court expenses and shelter stay, Capone's family now has a GoFundMe account. The link can be found on our Denver 7 app. In the studio, Sally Mendoza, Denver 7.